Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2021 in regards to workspaces. When you start with Revit 2021 and open it up, it will give you a wizard. And when you click to start the wizard, it will open up this panel and it will tell you the different tabs you have available. So as you click the specific discipline that you want, that particular tab of the ribbon will show up for you to use. For the kind of work that I do with teaching all of our clients, I tend to have everything turned on. That way I can teach and add and work with all the different content that comes with Revit 2021. So once you have all of the tabs selected that you want, it will ask you what your job function and role is. So for me, and most of the stuff that I do, I am more of the an architecture mindset. I could be a CAD manager, a BIM manager, and so on. This is just to help with understanding how the software behaves a little bit. So for now, I'm going to click Architect, and then I'm going to click View Suggestion. What happens is it just says congratulations, and then you can start working. So when I click this, that panel disappears. If I go to start a new Revit model project by clicking new, it will open up the new project window and it's going to default to Imperial Construction Template as a starting point. If you click inside, you can see all the others that are available. If you wanna sort how this is displayed and what shows up initially, you can cancel this. Head over to this upper left icon for home, then click File and click Options. In here, you can go to the File Locations portion of the Options window, and you cannot resize this window, but you can move this vertical bar a little bit to see more content. And if I wanted to say, for example, move this construction imperial template down, I just have to have my cursor inside and I can click this blue arrow right here and shuffle it down a little bit. You'll notice for Revit 2021, they have imperial and metric, they have architecture, structure, and then they have systems. And when you are finished sorting it however you want and you click OK, the next time you go through the process of starting a new Revit model with the new icon, your new project window will show the Imperial Architectural template, the first line item in that list. I'll click OK, and Revit will start up with a new Revit project. And as you can see in my ribbon, I have the Architecture tab, the Structure tab, the Steel, Precast, and Systems. If I were to say not select structure, then this tab would disappear. If at any point in time you don't like the way it looks, you can always customize it after the fact. You can go back to File, Options, User Interface, and you can check or uncheck any specific tab that you do not want to use. And when you're finished, you click OK and they'll disappear. So for example, if I uncheck Route Analysis and Tools, energy analysis, massing, and say all the systems. And I click OK. You'll notice the systems tab disappears and a few other tabs over here disappear as well. So I'm gonna go back to the options. I'm gonna go back to user interface and I'm going to turn those back on because I need to use them when I am doing the kind of work that I have to take care of. And as you can see, everything goes back to the way it was before. So the new feature for Revit 2021 Workspaces basically is a little wizard that helps you with setting up your interface and how you like things to look. Thank you very much for watching.